Nearly every retreat house is located in the midst of nature. It's by a river or a lake or a pond, uh, near mountains or hills. Uh, Eastern Point is smack right on the Atlantic coast. And it's not an accident. The stillness and the beauty of nature itself contribute significantly to the experience of the retreat. Uh, in Gloucester, I've had retreatants tell me that no matter how awful the traffic, no matter how hectic or busy or stressful uh, their days had been leading up to the retreat, sometimes just getting out of the car, catching sight of the ocean and the sky, hearing the rolling of the waves, they feel tension melt away and muscles relax and spirits lift. Retreat has begun and they're not even inside the door yet. Nature enters into the retreat in other ways, too. Um, because we have the time to do it, we tend to linger outdoors more. We stroll more. You know, walking is less purposeful. And so we see more. Um, we study the flight of the gulls, how they seem to work the wind, how they, they dip and glide and soar. Or we observe close up the behavior of a, a family of ducks <laughs> or swans or seals even. We check out the intricacies of a spider web. When do we do that? Our hearing becomes more attuned. It becomes more attuned to the sounds of the surf, the call of geese, uh, the rustling of leaves. And I think that this expansion and sharpening of our senses, the opening of our eyes and our ears, seems to make us ready for a similar expansion of our hearts and a further opening of our minds. It just seems to happen. In the company of God's creatures, we often hear God's voice more clearly. Um, issues in our lives get put in new perspective. And nature's been a uh, recognized as a pathway to God from the earliest centuries. Um, certainly in the earliest centuries of the church, figures like uh, St. Anthony of the Desert, and St. Augustine and others, they spoke of nature as being the first book of God or the other book of God. The idea is that before God ever revealed God's self uh, through the written word, God did so through the world of creation. And here's uh, from St. Augustine. There's a great book, the very appearance of created things. You want to discover God? Look above you, look below you, note it, read it. God never wrote that book with ink, instead, God set before your eyes the thing God has made. Can you ask for a louder voice than that? Why, heaven and earth shout to you, God made me. Often enough before uh, suggesting any scripture passages to retreatants, I recommend spending the whole first day outdoors, if possible, uh, reading the first book of God. 